literacy and I'm going to show you different designs for lighting up your street or road. These two similar designs use stone slabs for the top of the street lamp. This gives us a realistic feel for a town or city. They do not intrude into your street. These also benefit you by not using many resources. This street lamp uses cobblestone walls instead of the slabs I utilised in the last example. These street lamps mirror and model each other, just changing the lighting source. One uses a daylight sensor and a redstone lamp, the other just a sea lantern. I built this one using two stone brick staircase blocks. This stabilises the lamp and makes it look more robust. This next one copies the first design in which we have slabs on top. I have changed these to daylight sensors to make it more functional. These next two are very simple designs, only one block wide. These could be used in the middle of the park to add to the atmosphere. A quartz staircase adds to this modern design. I have used a nether brick fence to support the end rods. Now moving on to the pole and base designs. I have been using cobblestone walls throughout this video. These designs will add to the overall feel of the street lamps. For the different bases of these street lamps, you could use one of these five designs. The first one uses a cauldron to represent a metal block. The next base uses two stone brick staircases and a block of cobblestone to give it that medieval feel. The third example uses an anvil to give it more layers so that it doesn't look as boring. This next design is a modern base that you can use in any sci-fi themed city. And the last design of this video incorporates a beacon which not only gives out light to make the street lamp more effective, it also looks really great. Thank you guys so much for watching, make sure you have liked and subscribed so you never miss any content from me. Bye!